Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Always great to get off to a good start in conference play. Time for some early season action in the ACC. Thanks for checking out the pregame show, NCAA College Football Action, coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. surrounds Lane Stadium in Blacksburg. The players have slapped the Hokie Stone and they're ready for this one to get started. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Roberts, I'm sure, knows that when he comes on the road, he's going to get this kind of reception. But it seems like he feeds off, and it really doesn't bother him that much. I'm with you, Brad. I, I'm watching this guy play, whether it's been at home or on the road this year. One thing that has just stood out is his consistency as a quarterback. And I, I, I think his game seems to almost elevate when he gets on the road. And we've seen that over the years from guys where they just get so focused and they feel so challenged because they're on the road and people are doubting them that sometimes they play better. And he's done that. We'll see if he can do it again today. From their own 30-yard line, second down. tackles him hard at the 24-yard line. Six-yard setback. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. It's third down and 11 to go. Ball on the 24. Yeah, the quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. Garrett awaits the snap. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He's to the 40, and he's taken down at the 44-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. And it's caught. And down he goes at the 46-yard line. Well, that's a big gain there for the offense. And all that's doing is giving this quarterback more and more confidence. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. He's got an opening. He's at the 30. Tackle around the three-yard line. Listen, he's not just fast. He's also a smart runner. He knows how to follow blocks, and he knows when to accelerate. That's what differentiates skill from talent. First down. Big opportunity to score here inside the five. It's first down and goal. Defense stacked in tight here. And he's tackled at the three-yard line. That brings him second and goal. Here we go, here we go. Choose the mic. Watch Mike, watch Mike. Let's go! 
Touchdown, Hokies. And he tacks on the extra point. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. The Gators had the final spot in the poll at number 25. Unfortunately, that didn't last long. This game was tighter than spandex on a sumo wrestler. The Wildcats prevail by seven. Elsewhere, the Trojans came into the game ranked 10th. After the hard-fought loss, will the pollsters keep them high in the rankings? We've seen an upset. Pruitt is a player that other coaches are going to have to account for. He tossed three touchdowns in this one. All right, Reese, back to our game. Britt is lined up to kick this one off. He'll return it from the one. They'll bring him down at the 25-yard line. The Hokies are right where they want to be early in this one, Parker. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He's to the 40. Knocked out of bounds at about the 43-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. From their own 43-yard line, first down. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. That'll make it second and seven. the tailback and he's met in the backfield it's a great play by the defense but you know, it really makes you wonder was there a miscommunication up front by the offensive line they just seem to allow the defensive line to get through and the running back didn't have much of a chance at all third down and they need to get it inside the 47 <laughs> halfbacks got it on the quick throw and he is drilled at the 47. That's a smart call to exploit the pass rush and open up some space for him. The blockers did a good job of selling that play. Hands off up the middle and stuffed. From the 48-yard line, second down. Tries to pitch it, and now the ball is loose. Recovered by the offense. receiver in a hurry he's taken down around the 43 yard line I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down the defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one booming kick little too much leg into that punt they'll bring it out to the 20 And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. And he stopped behind the line. Loss is one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11.
from their own 19-yard line. Second down. Virginia Tech up seven points. Complete. He's got room. He's tackled around the 25-yard line. That'll make it 35. Bring him down for a sack on the play. That'll bring up fourth and 13. Bain is the deep man awaiting the return. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. Virginia Tech's defense is playing lights out right now, pitching a shutout. Yeah, I would not be shocked at all to see this defense be able to maintain this. I, I just the way they're playing, the attitude that they seem to be playing with, if they can maintain the energy and the awareness of this offense, there's a very good shot that they can shut this offense out. The offense comes out of the field, and they're hoping to avoid the similar fate that killed their last drive. It may be early, but don't think the coaches haven't spent a lot of time reminding these guys how important it is to take care of the football. From their own 38-yard line, it's second down. Laterals back. He fights forward to about the 39. They'll bring him down around the 49-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 49. They go back to him on a quick throw. And he's taken down around the 40-yard line. That brings up second and one. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle made at about the 23-yard line. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 23. They make the stop at the 14 yard line. That's a gain of nine on the ball. That brings up second and one. And that sets them up for the first and goal. Both offenses trying to find their rhythm in that first quarter. Low scoring and close right now. 7-0, Virginia Tech. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Let's see if they try to pound it in here. Both teams have their goal line sets on the field. Touchdown, Yellow Jackets. Offensive lineman just pancaked the defense on that one. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. 
He makes the PAT. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The Bulldogs came into the game ranked seventh. They're now bungee jumping, and the court's going to break. And for Missouri, they've won two straight. The Tigers slide out with a four-point win. You can feel the shock waves around this stadium. People can't believe that score. Good one. Ready to kick. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Brought down at about the 25-yard line. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Quick pass. And down he goes at about the 49. From the 49-yard line, it's first down. He's gobbled up in the backfield. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. That makes it second and ten. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. That is a loss of one yard. Third down. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. Four down, four down. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, here we go. Flag, 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 flag. Let's hot, let's hot. around the 37 yard line and a nice pick up there i'll tell you what the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz and a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man it's first and ten ball on the 37 yard line takes it up the middle for a nice run done gets about four yards on the play He's on the run. And now he's got room to run. And he's tackled at the 23. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. It's, it's the ninth play of the drive. Hey, watch the screen. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Loss of four on the play. That brings up third and twelve. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Four down, four down. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Here we go. Mike, and it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Virginia Tech is looking to go up by three. 
The kick is up, and it's Quitsy upright. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. They are lighting up the scoreboard again in the Big 12. This was a tight one to the very end. And for Thornton, he ran for more than 100 yards. The Longhorns grab a win by six. Thanks, Reese. 10-7 in this one. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. Across the 30. He's taken down at the 36-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. They go with a run, and he's brought down in the backfield. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball in 34. He makes it to the 35-yard line. Cook is back deep to return the punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Virginia Tech is up by three. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20. He's taken down right around the 28-yard line. Get hard for a loss. Taking back a yard. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Georgia Tech's going to take their first time out of the half. Patriot! Patriot! And they're coming after this punter. Bain takes it at the 32. They'll bring him down at the 40-yard line. Both offenses have played it pretty close to the best so far in this one. Yeah, because they've been so conservative, it's made it pretty easy for both of these defenses to be pretty dominant. Let's see an offense open it up and take a few chances. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. He's tackled at the 44. Call it a gain of 16 yards. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 44. Steps out of bounds at the 37. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up they call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. A 
to review the play, the ruling on the field stands. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. Gets it out in a hurry. And he got it! And he's all the way in for the touchdown. He adds the extra point with a three-play, 59-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. So the score now, 14-10. Georgia Tech is ready to kick it away. He just drills this one. Gets to about the 17-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 29-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 29-yard line. Under heavy pressure, throwing right. It's going the other way. They'll bring him down at about the 41. He came up with a fantastic interception there. Well, you know the quarterback is kicking himself for that one. He just made the wrong read. First and 10. Ball on the 41. Georgia Tech is up by four. Rose, and he's got a man. Touchdown. the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. An interception cut this offense last drive short, so I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. The game is in danger of getting out of hand early. It's very, very important that they not only hang on to the football this drive, but they also need to get a score on the board as well. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. It's second and 15. Ball on their own 20. Watch 32. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike. Let's go. Flag 98. Flag 98. Hot, hot. Nearly intercepted. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. It's third and 15. Ball on the 20-yard line. Room around the corner. And he shoved out of bounds around the 31-yard line. That makes it fourth and four. Ray is waiting for the snap. And down he
he goes to the 38-yard line. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. He wants it all going long. Tackle made at about the seven-yard line. So we've played two quarters. The Yellow Jackets lead 21-10. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. According to the scoreboard, the first half went pretty much as scripted. We expected this team to be on top, and they are. They're up by two scores. That's not surprising. But I'm not so sure that, that there are really different feelings in the locker room right now. You might have a couple of confident teams taking a break. Yeah, you might be you might be up by a couple of scores, but you probably feel like you could add more to it. You feel like everything's gone as scripted, as planned. You feel like you're doing what you want to do. You're limiting them from doing what they want to do. At the same time, if I'm on the other side, I'm going, it, guys, it's not a blowout yet. You know, this is still close. If we make a few plays, get a few turnovers, next thing you know, we can look up and this game might be tied. So both sides might be happy, but this still is a game very much in striking distance, even though one side is heavily favored. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He sends this one deep. Tackle at the 19. Georgia Tech's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, he's just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. He's taken down at the 21. That's good for a gain of two yards. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 21-yard line, second down. Now he's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out. And they make the stop around the 32-yard line. Fires quick. Tipped. I love to see a confident quarterback. But you don't want to just go back there and put blind faith in your throws. You need a little bit more time to evaluate the coverage before you release the football. From their own 32-yard line, second down. Bounces off the would-be tackler. Dunn picks up about four yards on the play. out of bounds around the 43 yard line i think he just barely got it that's a great job by both the quarterback and receiver to keep this drive alive first and 10 ball on the 43. Runs it right and can't get away. Nice tackle. There's nothing better than having an athletic, versatile, and instinctive safety. He makes a big-time play here with his recognition of the run, comes up and does what he does best, which is making a nice, short tackle on the ball carrier. Fires incomplete to the fullback. Joseph is being taken to the season. That brings 
This is the eighth play of this drive. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. Tackle at the 44-yard line. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. And now he pitches it, makes it to the 22-yard line. That makes it second and eight. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 22-yard line. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for a game of five yards. That makes it third and three. strike to the receiver he's at midfield and down he goes at about the 45 First down. from the 45 yard line First down. And he's tackled right around the 40. And they get five yards from that completion. You don't have to go deep every play to be successful. They got five yards on the play, and that's always a good game. Second and five. Ball on the 40-yard line. Up the middle for a nice game. Good for a game of six yards. That makes it first and ten. Throws it in a hurry. What we're seeing right now is just a great connection between the quarterback and his receivers. They make these plays look effortless. Man left, man left. It's first and ten. Ball on the 24-yard line. That's a backward pass. That's a live ball. It's a good job of securing the fumble and avoiding a turnover. Heads up play to get on top of the ball and allow them to maintain possession. And this is the eighth play of the drive. So we're looking at another third down here. Gets it out quickly. Brought down around the 14-yard line. That's a game of 11 on the play. First down.
Tenth play of the drive. Nice run to the left there. Ball inside the 10 yard line. It's second down. And they'll get him in the backfield. Well, the question now is how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? Here's the 12th play of the drive. He's on the run. Fires out to his receiver. He's taken down at the seven yard line. It's fourth down. They're gonna go for the easy three here. Kicks away, and it is good. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. We take you out to this clash in the Big Ten. The Terrapins' rushing attack can be difficult to stop, and they get into the end zone for a touchdown. And for Joseph, he's got a rushing touchdown in this one. The Terrapins are on top, 21-17, at the start of the fourth quarter. Two touchdown ball game here, Reese, 24 to 10. Good one. Get set to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Yellow Jacket staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. They're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team. There's, it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at the, at the front leading the way. He's tackled at the 26. Brings up second and nine. Second and nine. Ball on their own 26. Just throws this one away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Bring him down around the 30-yard line. Bain awaiting the return. Gets to about the 41-yard line. That's three down and one to go. The Yellow Jackets lead it by two touchdowns. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. The halfback goes forward for about five yards there, and that gets him the first. Draw plays work best when the offense has had success throwing the football. The defense isn't expecting run, and when that delayed handoff happens, they're nowhere near the action. He's looking for six. Almost intercepted. From the 47-yard line, second down. Makes it out to about the 39. 
to be made on the play. That'll make it third and one. Run, left side. Good outside run there. That's a first down here, and I love to see the wide receiver get a chance to get his hands on the football. You know, the offensive coordinator told us earlier this week they're going to do everything they can to get this receiver involved in the game plan, whether it means catching a ball or at times running the football. And there, he shows what he can do with the football in his hand. Tackle made around the 34-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 34. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's taken down at about the 19-yard line. At the 19-yard line. First down. From the 19-yard line, it's first down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That'll make it second and four. It's the ninth play of the drive. Great run, and he's brought down in the backfield. A good tackling safety is key for any defense. And if they can diagnose a play like this guy can, he can be a real menace. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Here's a throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Gets it up and it sails through the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Georgia Tech's just not going to let him come for air, I guess. Well, this defense has just been stifling. They've shut down the running game. They've, for the most part, limited the big plays in the pass game. And they've got a nice lead here in the fourth quarter. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. Five yard line. First down. Throws left. The running backs got it. And they make the stop right around the 46 yard line. That brings up second and nine. and it's almost picked off. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. He's wrapped up for the sack. That makes it fourth and long.
Ray awaits the snap. And he's shoved out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. Georgia Tech's proven to be the better team in every facet of this football game. Boy, their defense has played lights out. Their offense is taking advantage of their opportunities. Everything has led them to a very comfortable lead. The offense gets set to take the field. Last time out, they stuck it between the uprights for three. Nice run there. Butler picks up about seven yards on the run. Second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Less than three minutes in the game. He tackles him for a loss. to his receiver. Tackle at about the 47-yard line. <laughs> Cook is back deep to return. He got hit hard. When he made the decision to return the ball, I'm sure he thought there was going to be some room to run. But boy, did it vanish in a hurry. Still, he got something out of it. Their last drive ended in a punch, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. A little over a minute in the game. He goes downtown. And down he goes at the 33-yard line. And that play could have gone for six. Oh, boy, you're right. And all week long, this secondary did a lot of talking about how they were going to dominate these receivers. I think this is time that they step up and prove it on the field. Forget about talking trash. Let's see how they react after giving up that big play. Quick throw out to the receiver. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. down and they've got their eyes on that goal line. on the extra point. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? And for Bridges, he finishes with a pair of touchdown passes. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Brought down at the 42. 
And for Savoy, his receiving stats really stand out tonight. Yeah, Brad, I think with this performance today, he's really sending a message to the entire country that this is a guy you've got to be aware of and you better be prepared for if you line up against this offense. He's blowing big holes through them on a clip of over 20 yards of grab. He's helped them get to this lead, so we'll see if they ask more of him to build an even bigger cushion. Well, you know the offense would like to generate more than they did on their last possession. Under a minute left in the game. He's at the 30. And they finally tackle him at the 14-yard line. When you combine his speed as a runner with the strength of the offensive line, you have the potential for some long runs. From the 14-yard line, first down. They'll keep it on the ground again. They'll drop him for a loss. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed it. And he's tackled at the 14-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. The Hokies using their third and final timeout. It's third and nine. Ball on the 14-yard line. Nice move, and he scores. Roberts, game showing us another dimension. Kirk, I think maybe you could have done that back there. <laughs> I don't know about that. He really turned it on, put the Jets on, and got into the end zone. What a crucial point in this game to be able to deliver for his offense the way he did right there. And he hits the PAT. So a four-play, 43-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Good one. Ready to kick. Excellent kick. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. Nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero. A comeback is just not happening. And they get the sack. That'll make it second and one. Spikes the ball. Third down and what they didn't want to get in. Ball on their own 13. He's under some heat. Quick strike and he drops it. Bain will be the return man. And down he goes at the 49-yard line. Now, what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Well, oh, this is an example of this quarterback just really being able to go out and show his competitive spirit. And each time he plays, he puts that out on display. And let's also recognize the offensive line. This defense has been coming after this quarterback. And to the offensive line's credit, they've given him enough time to be able to read the defense and make good throws. We'll see what else he has in store for this defense as they look to tack on more points. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. And that's the end of the ball game, and our final score in this one, 34-17. Yellow Jacket. Let's get Kirk Herbstreit's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? This is about what I expected to see in this game. Virginia Tech came in here hoping to win, but not expecting to win. They need to develop that winning attitude and mentality if they're going to win these type of games.
Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.